give you guys all the juicy information you need to know about pharmacology and med surge. So if you're wanting to know how to get off of that struggle bus and move on to the next semester, stay with your girl. All right, you guys. So if you guys don't know me, my name's T. I am a senior nursing student. I am going to Galen College of Nursing. I am in my fifth, almost sixth quarter of nursing school at Galen. So I am currently an OB and Peds, um, and I just recently got out of med surge and pharmacology. So there's a little backstory about me. So, how you guys hold them? I know, but I know, anyways. Okay, what you need to know about pharmacology is that you gotta stay afloat, all right? If you guys are here in the airplane, it's because I'm outside on my balcony because my toddler does not know how to act. Actually, I can't go to home training, but anyways. So we are going to be talking about pharmacology and essentially what you need to know is that you gotta stay afloat. Are you gonna be given a ton of information? Absolutely. Are you going to be given that information in a small period of time? Absolutely. But don't worry, I got you. Best thing you can do, number one thing I'm gonna point out right now is the best thing you can do in pharmacology is get some type of resource to help you. Meaning, like for me, I use Simple Nursing. I swear by it, I love it. It is pretty much what got me through pharmacology, needless to say. Um, I, Nurse Sarah is really good. Um, Level of RN is really good, but I personally swear by Simple Nursing. It has, holy grail. Um, when you want to get down to the nitty gritty though, when it comes to pharmacology, it's really about learning the prefixes and suffixes of medications to know what they do. Like for instance, if you know that ARBs comes after you give ACE inhibitors, then you know like lisinopril is an ACE inhibitor. And if lisinopril does not work, then you would give an ARBs like Valsartan, um, which how you know which is which is an ACE inhibitors end in pril and ARBs end in Sartan. So that's, you see what I'm saying? Like that's how you kind of know, like with your um, calcium, your calcium channel blockers, with your, uh, your fluid pills like furosemide or Lasix, um, any inhaler or steroid kind of drugs end in sewn. That's what I mean. Um, you have to know like the prefix or suffix of the drug or the class of drugs to know what it does like a benzo i know the whole name but we call it a benzo because that's what it is it's a benzo um you just have to find a way to memorize it and for me learning the prefix or the suffix of the drug helped me recall what the drug actually did as far as learning side effects to be real with you you're just gonna have to pick some that are different from other kinds of side effects and stick with it um like for instance if i had a drug that had all the same side effects as another drug that was similar to the drug like an ace inhibitor versus an arbs inhibitor then you have to find that one thing whether it's a side effect or an adverse effect that makes it different and that's how you remember side effects and adverse effects between the two you're going to run into that a lot with your with your cardiac drugs with your um psychiatric drugs like your depression drugs with your drugs that will put people under sedation you're going to have a lot of similar side effects and adverse effects per se teaching is another big point that you really need to focus on because as nurses what do we do we teach that's who we are we're teachers at heart rather y'all know it or not y'all are going to be teachers by the time you get your degree okay so you really need to know your teaching. You need to know what you're going to tell your client about this drug when you go in there and take it to them. They need to know what to look out for. You need to know what to look out for, what medications they could be taking that could be contraindicated or any disease process they may have that may be contraindicated to the medication. You gotta know this. Sounds like a lot of information I'm giving y'all I know because it is. 
But y'all got this. Because if I can get through it, y'all can get through it too. I got faith in y'all. Trust. All right, you guys. So if you guys don't know me, my name's T. I am a senior nursing student. I am going to Galen College of Nursing. I am in my fifth, almost sixth quarter of nursing school at Galen. So I am currently an OB in Peds. Um, and I just recently got out of med surge and pharmacology. So there's a little backstory about me. So, how you guys hold them? I know, but I know, anyways. Okay, what you need to know about pharmacology is that you gotta stay afloat, all right? If you guys are hearing the airplane, it's because I'm outside on my balcony because my toddler does not know how to act. Actually, I can't get the home training, but anyways. So we are going to be talking about pharmacology and essentially what you need to know is that you gotta stay afloat. Are you gonna be given a ton of information? Absolutely. Are you going to be given that information in a small period of time? Absolutely. But don't worry, I got you. Best thing you can do, number one thing I'm gonna point out right now is the best thing you can do in pharmacology is get some type of resource to help you. Meaning, like for me, I use Simple Nursing. I swear by it, I love it. It is pretty much what got me through pharmacology, needless to say. Um, I, Nurse Sarah is really good. Um, Level of RN is really good, but I personally swear by Simple Nursing. It has, holy grail. Um, when you want to get down to the nitty gritty though when it comes to pharmacology it's really about learning the prefixes and suffixes of medications to know what they do like for instance if you know that arbs comes after you give ace inhibitors then you know like lisinopril is an ace inhibitor and if lisinopril does not work then you would give an arbs like valsartan um, which how you know which is which is an ACE inhibitors end in Pril and ARBs and in Sartan. So that's, you see what I'm saying? Like that's how you kind of know. Like with your um, calcium, your calcium channel blockers, with your, uh, your fluid pills like furosemide or Lasix, um, any inhaler or steroid kind of drugs and then sewn that's what I mean um, you have to know like the prefix or suffix of the drug or the class of drugs to know what it does like a benzo I know the whole name but we call it a benzo because that's what it is it's a benzo um, you just have to find a way to memorize it and for me learning the prefix or the suffix of the drug helped me recall what the drug actually did as far as learning side effects to be real with you you're just gonna have to pick some that are different from other kinds of side effects and stick with it um, like for instance if I had a drug that had all the same side effects as another drug that was similar to the drug like an ACE inhibitor versus an ARBs inhibitor then you have to find that one thing whether it's a side effect or an adverse effect that makes it different and that's how you remember side effects and adverse effects between the two you're gonna run into that a lot with your with your cardiac drugs with your um, psychiatric drugs like your depression drugs with your drugs that will put people under sedation you're gonna have a lot of similar side effects and adverse effects per se teaching is another big point that you really need to focus on because as nurses what do we do we teach that's who we are we're teachers at heart rather y'all know it or not y'all are gonna be teachers by the time you get your degree okay so you really need to know your teaching. You need to know what you're going to tell your client about this drug when you go in there and take it to them. They need to know what to look out for. You need to know what to look out for, what medications they could be taking that could be contraindicated or any disease process they may have that may be contraindicated to the medication. You gotta know this. It sounds like a lot of information I'm giving y'all I know because it is. But y'all got this, because if I can get through it, y'all can get through it too. I got faith in y'all, trust. 
that is pretty much the gist of pharmacology is study 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 find ways to make it make sense i used a lot of acronyms or funny little gestures to make myself remember certain drugs um like warfarin is the slow stroke drug um for me and clopidogrel is your platelet drug um let's see what else did i have aspirin was labeled as your baby heart attack drug for me um because that just reminded me that people will take a baby aspirin um it's a anti-platelet so it thins out the blood people will take baby aspirins when they are on like they're on watch for pre-hypertension or anything like that they take a baby aspirin every day to keep their blood a little thinner so they don't develop any type of coagulation problems like PEs or anything like that that's how I come up with little names to remember these different medications and you guys can do the same whatever make whatever little trick you guys can think of to help you remember it that's what I suggest you do honestly it's all just a memory game um, well it's not a game but it's all just memorization pharmacology is memorization you have to know it to get out of that class you have to know it and having a good instructor plays a big part too but we're not going to get into that i had a fabulous instructor we're not we're, we're not we're not going to talk about that um now we're going to move on to med search y'all med search is a whole nother beast okay that med search book that they tell y'all to buy don't buy it same thing with the pharmacology book unless you just want to read the book honestly I don't recommend buying neither one of the books and I'm gonna tell you why I did not have to use my pharmacology book or my med surge book the entire quarter I brought it to class for like the first week no I lied maybe like the first three weeks and then after that when I realized my instructors were not asking us to pull out our books and look at and look up information I quit bringing them um, I had good instructors for both classes they were putting all the need to know information in the PowerPoints um, now does that mean I'm telling you not to buy the book not by any means if you want to buy the book you feel like you need to buy the book buy the book um, but just know if you're someone like me who uses outside sources like simple nursing you don't really need the book um, but that's just completely up to you that's your choice okay sorry about that y'all had to turn the light on because it's getting dark outside um, so anyway like I said that's all by your choice if you want to buy it buy it if you don't don't it's not gonna hurt anything either way in my opinion I could do without I kind of wish I didn't buy it that would have been money in my pocket but it's okay we will use them in some way shape or form even if i have to use them for pictures when it's all said and done um so now we're just going to move on to the material and med surge i will say this it is a lot of information it is not too much to retain that is what i will say if you listen to the information some of it is like oh that's self-explanatory and then there's other parts of it that's like okay i need to study that like for instance I understood immediately about sickle cell, anemia, cardiac issues, um, skin disorders. I understood all that stuff immediately, right off the bat. There was no problem retaining that information. When she threw ABGs at us, that took a little studying um, to grasp the understanding of how you determine if it's metabolic acidosis or respiratory alkalosis or whatever the case may be it took a little time practicing in order to get that information down pat um and that's what i mean did i have to use my book for that no i used simple nursing they explained it and i caught on to it straight away my instructor also used the tic-tac-toe method um which if your instructor explains that to you it'll make sense but basically you just write your ph your o2 and your 
HCO3 across the top and then whatever the numbers are based off of the reading from the ABG on the patient that determines what they have um, and it's all acid or alkaline that's how you read it um, I, that probably didn't make any sense but you guys will understand more so when you get to ABG um, and that made sense to me once I had a better understanding of it that's what I mean by like some stuff you'll have to study and other stuff you won't have to study med surge is also going to teach you your clinic more of your clinical skills so you're going to understand medications more you're going to understand how to do certain procedures like wound dressing changes and more sterile procedures and med surge you're going to learn more so about the complex side of nursing or bedside nursing not just like uh, PCT work, like how you did in fundamentals, basically, or patient care tech work, like how you did in fundamentals. Now you're stepping more into that nursing world when you hit med surge. You're going over meds, you're going over IVs more, Foley's more, perineal care, you're going over um, disorders more, diseases more, contact precautions, how to think more like a nurse, lab values, looking at doctor's notes, looking at respiratory therapist notes. You're actually going to have to sit down and look at all these things and work it out like how a nurse would have to. That is what med surge is essentially going to teach you. Now, when I went to the hospital, y'all, and I went on that med surge floor, I was not prepared. For the site that was waiting for me med surge is a whole nother beast within itself and I amend any nurse who works on med surge I personally cannot I currently work as a nurse extern in a surgical ICU and I do not know how the nurses the patient care techs the LPNs hell even the doctors work on med surge um, it is so fast paced y'all so fast paced and there's like no breaks it's like vitals turn patient take this one to the bathroom take this one to ultrasound take this one to get a cat scan bring this one back go get this one take this one to lunch take this one to physical therapy help this one back in bed take this one to the bathroom pass meds take vitals like it's it is so busy so so busy um those girls that work over there are truly a blessing nothing less nothing less than just angels um so just be prepared for that too and if you guys want me to do a video on like how clinical normally goes just let me know in the comment section below i did see that someone wanted me to do a video on how i got a job as a nurse extern i will do that video also probably tonight while i have the time away from my little one but anyway just comment down below if you guys want me to do a video on what clinical is like um then or what it's like now that i'm in ob and P. i will definitely give you guys an update on that um but yeah like i said another thing that really helped me in both of these classes because there's so much information is having a planner um, and you guys know I've showed you guys my planner before I have my planner I plan out everything by the day and I'm so glad that I started doing that at the beginning of when I started going to school at Galen because that helped me keep the structure that I needed to get through these two classes um, you'll get caught up in studying for one class forgetting that you have an exam the very next week in the other class and you have not studied for it um, that is what this girl did in the first exam for pharmacology there was so much information um, that I studied for it study for it study for it and forgot to study for med surge but luckily enough I understood that information really well and I didn't have to study as much I think I left myself with like five days to study for that exam and by the grace of God I got an A but I don't recommend doing that do not do that um, you have to have time management with these two classes especially if you take them at the same time like how I did you are gonna be in for 
one hell of a ride if you do that so just make sure you manage your time very well you take really 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 good notes um which i will insert a clip of how my notes usually look for anybody who wants to see how i take notes i'll insert a little clip and if you guys want me to do a little video on that i can do that as well um my notes are usually very detailed and like i said i use simple nursing which is an outside source that i do pay for monthly um in order to get a better understanding of all the information that they're giving you in an accelerated program so that is pretty much it for pharmacology and med surge like i said you guys it's just a whole bunch of information they're throwing at you it's two different classes they're both really difficult classes but it is doable it is doable you're gonna have a lot of late nights you're gonna spend a lot of time studying don't be surprised if you have big study guides for these classes one of my exams you guys i kid you not was like 30 40 pages long um and if it wasn't for simple nursing i that just gave me flashbacks sorry <laughs> if it wasn't for simple nursing i probably would have just given up at that point because it is just a lot of information it is um but study hard take the time to make the study guides take the time to go over the information really dig deep give yourself some leniency don't forget self-care that's always important always have a day to let your mind relax because you can't retain anything if you don't let your mind and your body relax y'all take time to let your body relax and you guys got this I believe in you guys as always i love you guys if you are not subscribed make sure you subscribe hit that like button leave me a comment down below if you want to let me know if anything you guys want me to talk about or discuss more on we can get into it i can do a q a whatever you guys want just let me know as always i will be back with another update on ob and peds when i get out of this quarter and i will see you guys next time <laughs>